If you take that few minutes just to stop and enjoy with Saranja, you'll see a lot of the things that we don't often see. But those things we don't see are the very things that depend on us. If you can appreciate it and you know it's there, you're going to protect it. I've lived here about eight years or so now. The moment I got here, I knew that this, this will be the place that I live forever. Test Free South America started simple, red box traps to local people in our valley. Then later I had the idea that I needed to get organised. So having Capital Kiwi come in and give us an idea about this is what a trap line should be, it was literally with its weight in gold. Now we've got stuff that sends stuff to your phone if you're like within about 100 foot or something. It's, it's pretty amazing. And it's important for us to know how we're tracking, if the traps are sort of really humming along. We're very much just upping the ante to make sure that when Kiwi do arrive, they're going to arrive into a pretty snazzy environment. Show me a Kiwi, you won't get into that. Uh, this is also the first place where I saw the first sighting of a Kareria falcon. They're beautiful, beautiful fast birds. And they can fly faster than I can drive. It's an awesome feeling, but it's also sad because you shouldn't be that excited to see something that should already be there. It's amazing the kind of stuff that you can find out there. The amount of times that I've had interactions with Iwaka Waka and just hearing the kaka going nuts in the pine forests. That's your motivation. It shows you what you're trying to protect. I'm really into New Zealand native geckos, the, the moko moko. You look at this and you think like, this is an animal that is made out of porcelain, but they're so adaptive. Most of these little treasures are at risk or declining. Um, and it's pretty much due to the fact that we've got the um, introduced predators. So the best chance these guys have of making it out there is for me just to keep up my trapping. Having Kiwi in our valley would be just over the top. They're our icon. And to have that running around it would make all those cold mornings in the winter worthwhile. What it will also do critically is engage our younger people and show them that this is what we've achieved at Kiwi. What can we do for anything else out there? and the community is more than happy to put in hard yards to get there. Macro is 100% behind this.